Good morning, everybody. My name is Dale Cabo, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting off on this Friday morning with a scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 19, verse 19 through 25. On that day, there will be an altar to the Lord in the center of the land of Egypt, and a pillar to the Lord at its border. It will be a sign and a witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt when they cry to the Lord because of oppressors. He will send them a savior and will defend and deliver them. The Lord will make himself known to the Egyptians, and the Egyptians will know the Lord on that day, and will worship with sacrifice and burnt offering, and they will make vows to the Lord and perform them. The Lord will strike Egypt, striking and healing. They will return to the Lord, and he will listen to their supplications and heal them. On that day, there will be a highway from Egypt to Assyria, and the Assyrian will come into Egypt, and the Egyptian into Assyria, and the Egyptians will worship with the Assyrians. On that day, Israel will be the third with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing in the midst of the earth, whom the Lord of hosts has blessed, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, my heritage. And that is our re reading this morning from Isaiah chapter 19. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for those of us who come here on this Friday morning feeling broken, bring restoration. For those of us who come here feeling weak, bring strength. For those who come here weeping, please bring joy. For those of us who come here with doubts, bring faith. For those who are not a part of, of this right now, all your other children of this world you've created, bring them with a need also to find a grasping on their lives and to take a better lead into their goals and days ahead. Please be with all of our church family as we come to an end of this week and let us be thankful especially in this time of Thanksgiving, for those who help and support us every day, for our friends, family, church family, as well as ultimately your son, Jesus. For all these things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. I hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. hope you all have a great Friday today.